Good morning, members of the Judiciary Committee. Uh, my name is Corey Garland. I live in Newport, Rhode Island, House District 75, and I'd like to thank uh, my representative, Lauren Carson, um, who sponsored the Reproductive Health Care Act. It's critical that this committee votes the Reproductive Health Care Act out of committee with a recommendation for passage. Now that the United States Supreme Court has a conservative anti-choice majority, the protections afforded by Roe v. Wade and its progeny are at serious risk. Those individuals who believe otherwise, including Speaker Mattiello, are simply not facing the stark reality before this country. I moved to Newport in July of 2017. As a new Rhode Islander, it thrills me to live in a state where reproductive rights are valued to the point that the Reproductive Health Care Act is supported by at least 39 representatives, 17 state senators, Governor Raimondo, and over 71% of the constituency. Originally, I'm from Missouri a state that pushes Roe's protections to its limits by having some of the most restrictive and anti-choice laws on the books. I have seen what happens when a woman is forced to choose between losing her job or getting an abortion because of a 72-hour waiting period. I have listened to the scientifically inaccurate statements that physicians must read to their patients before they even broach the details of a safe and straightforward abortion procedure. And I've walked with women through throngs of protesters after they drove over four hours to get to the only clinic in the state that can legally provide an abortion. Rhode Islanders do not support these types of laws. To the contrary, Rhode Islanders overwhelmingly support codifying Roe. Passage of the Reproductive Health Care Act this term is imperative because anti-abortion organizations know that the composition of the United States Supreme Court has shifted and they are seizing the opportunity to push aggressive targeted restrictions on abortion providers and fetal viability laws. These laws unconstitutional under Roe chip away at access to abortion facilities and limit the time in which a woman can legally acquire an abortion. Planned Parenthood, the ACLU, and the Center for Reproductive Rights are all challenging these anti-abortion laws in federal court. If upheld as constitutional by the United States Supreme Court, these laws effectively nullify Roe. Roe does not need to be overturned outright to seriously impair or eliminate access to abortion in Rhode Island. If Roe is nullified, existing but currently unconstitutional Rhode Island statutes that criminalize abortion would again be unenforceable. Rhode Island women would face obstacles much greater than those than faced by the women in Missouri. Thank you very much.